This is a true tow pig. Single cab F450. I borrowed this truck from Larry H. Miller Super Ford here in Salt Lake City. Ken Tanner is the one that actually sold this truck. I'm not sure if it's actually sold, but I'm pretty sure it is because this is a really nice build. Let's go ahead and check out the window sticker so you guys can see some of the options on this one. At the very top is the description. You guys will see regular cabs, what they call this. XLT, 142 inch wheelbase. Race red is the color. And then here is a short listing for the standard equipment. There is a ton of options, so be sure to pause it. I'm not gonna go through every single thing, but 6.7 high output is an option because the standard output comes standard. And gooseneck uh, dual hitch kit, never heard of that. And then you have the all weather floor mats, FX4, platform running boards, the supplemental heater, back glass defrost, pro power, onboard, blind spot monitoring. There's a lot of stuff on this truck, guys, wow. And then 360 degree camera package is down below. And then you guys will see Destination is $19.95 with a total price of $77,510. That does seem like a lot of money, but Ford has kind of monopolized the F450 segment because this is the only truck available. Jam nor Ram offer this, unless it's in a cabin chassis form. But with the XLT, you get a chrome grille and lower bumper, halogen headlights, incandescent turn signals, fog lights down below too. You guys can see that balance too, which helps with fuel economy. And off to the side, here is the suspension. So you have a solid front axle, wide front track, which gives you that better turning radius. You guys see the coils, shock absorber, and huge sway bar too. You guys see the end links, how they have it all set up. The steer knuckles right there, all finished in steel. Huge brakes, by the way, too. Maybe I can show up to you better on the other side, but love the painted fender flares. They look great on this truck. You can't get those painted on the cabin chassis. Ram gives you an option to do that, which I would like to see Ford do. 19 and a half wheels, aluminum. These are the Continental tires, Conti HDR5s. 225, 70, 19 and a half. That's a pretty typical size. Load range G. Now, 3,970 pounds for single, 3,750 pounds for dual, 110 PSI cold. And let's see if you can see those brakes. Oh yeah, look at those brakes, guys. Huge! Those are some big brakes. Fixed running boards, and here's some of your trimming on the side. Mirrors have that forward light. Blind spot monitoring was an option, and there's a convex. Black door handle, finished in plastic. And they give you the keypad, too. Interesting. I think Ford has the best design for the dually bed. And what I like about this is if you do damage this, unfortunately it happens a lot, you could actually get that replaced. Now you guys can see they do have that second step down here that comes down like that. So, I mean, it's, it's a nice step. I, I, I don't think I would opt for it, but hey, it's a nice convenience. Now, I'm not sure about the tank size because sometimes the regular cabs, they give you a smaller tank, but typically it's 48 gallon and then 7.4 if you get like a crew cab. So if that's wrong, I'll put it here in the video. Clearance lights on the side. And let's check out that suspension. Four leads in the main pack there. And you have that overload with the bump stop. You can kind of see the fifth wheel prep package down below there. And then wheel wheel liner is not completely protecting the back there, which I'm not sure why they don't just give that to you. I don't even see that as an option either. FX4 badge. Now, the reason why you would get the FX4, you're not obviously taking the truck off road, right? So you don't really care about the downhill assist, but if you're driving on the highway and something falls off the back of a truck and you run over it, you don't wanna damage that fuel tank, right? So it's nice to have those extra skid plates down below for that one thing, you know? Out back, you have those steps on the bumper. You have a mixture of LED lights here and incandescent bulbs. They spell out Super Duty. It's kind of stamped in that tailgate too. Class 5 hitch, and that is going to be a 3 inch receiver with the F450. They did update these loops. And when you get an F450, you get that 430 rear end. And I like that they give you those like fins, I guess, on the back of them because it helps with cooling. And then here's that spare tire. Same tire, it looks like. Sway bar out back, too. 
and this is not assisted but they did opt to have the step so this truck has a lot of options on it spray and bed liner fifth wheel prep package you have your seven pin and then there's a 12-way plug for like video bed lights and you have a bed view camera the 2000 watts of power you guys saw this on that window sticker and let's go ahead and discuss the powertrain really quickly the inner wheels out back are going to be steels i would like to see an option to upgrade those to aluminum i would prefer to have just matching aluminum wheels personally but high output power stroke is an option the standard output would have 475 and 1050 pound feet of torque but if that's just not enough power obviously you can get this one 500 horsepower 1200 pound feet of torque 10 speed transmission known as a 10r140 they're still using the Bosch cp4 on this setup here and when you get the pro power on board they do give you the dual alternators too so you're gonna have one there and then the other one's right there of course you have the dual batteries let's go ahead and check out the interior i would like to see a black interior option for this truck when i first saw this i didn't really mind the look but i don't like it today it just doesn't look that great honestly but the good news is they still give you a power seat so you can you know push up and down the front and back of the seat cushion below and your lumbar support but the seat back is going to be manually operated tilt and telescopic steering wheel you have a grab handle to get in and then here's some of the design on the dash there you have auto headlights and you guys saw that pro power on board it can be controlled inside the interior here is the door pretty basic for a work truck basically because that's what this is auto up and down windows you have your door locks and then you can control the mirrors power not the convex but the top one and getting in pretty easy with these running boards and a grab handle and as you guys would expect they give you just a standard key no push button start and then here are the controls on the steering wheel that's your cruise control now one thing i like about this redesigned ford is they give you this thing called measurement so if you go down you guys to see here you have your temperatures for engine coolant transmission temp and engine oil all in one spot which is nice to be able to monitor these things when you're driving down the road i like the turbo boost gauge too that's nice to have up for you as well you guys can see here you can have it digitized for the turbo boost engine braking and these are particular filter and def so for all for your emission stuff android auto apple carplay for this screen and you guys saw 360 camera Ford does have a dual mode exhaust brake too. So they call it engine brake. So you have that one and then you have automatic and then it just turns back off again. Single climate control, you have a 12 volt plug here and then you have another one there and then you have a 120 volt plug. I like that they give you two. Some guys prefer these over USBs and 120 volts. So nice that they give that to you. You still have unique drive modes for the truck too. So they have eco mode, tow haul mode, normal, and slippery roads and then off-road mode too you have the four high two high four low and i believe there's a is there a limit slip out back anti-spin i can't remember with these trucks they don't give you a locker for the f450s though a little bit of storage below the seat here now if you would like to use this as an armrest if you're not carrying a third person they do give you this two cup holders place to put your phone right there and a little bit of storage dash has a little bit of extra storage up here and then you have your auxiliary switches place for your sunglasses led lighting for the interior and they give you vanity without a light on this side they still give you one no power for the passenger side and let's see a little bit of storage out back. They give you a bottleneck jack right there. And you guys can see, there's a little bit of storage on that side too. You can hang some things up there. And I like to give you the covered storage. If you get a work truck model, this would just be open storage. And interesting enough, you can't use this truck for a slide-in camper, huh? 
if you're building a truck like this i would recommend just adding that package because i feel as though that would really help the resale value on both sides of the of the steps let's go ahead and check out the numbers on the door so here are the numbers on the door front gross axle weight rating is going to be 5600 pounds the rear is 9900 pounds with a 14,000 pound gross fuel core weight rating 19 by 6 wide is the wheels and that code here for the axle 4l is a limited slip diff okay payload is 5547 pounds now i'm pretty sure some of you guys are expecting that to be over 6000 now keep in mind this is f450 f450s are heavy so the brakes are bigger you have that wide front track which is heavier also the rear diff is heavier again bigger brakes out back 19 and a half wheels and these tires are a little bit heavier too so if you were looking at the f350 and you got a gas engine and four by two yes that truck would probably have well over six thousand pounds of payload and you got to keep in mind that fifth wheel prep package spray and bed liner all those things are going to take away from your payload but i hope you guys liked the video really nice spec and if you're looking for a tow pig this is one for sure almost forgot behind the seat you guys can see is that inverter for the 2000 watts of power